in design interfaces and basics. Hello there. This is a beginner tutorial on Adobe InDesign CS6. In this video, we are basically going to show you the user interfaces in some of the basic tools to get started. So you first open up InDesign. More or less, it probably is going to be very similar to what I have here. So, when you first open it, you will see that you have your standard menu like File, Edit, Layout, Type, Object, Table, View, Windows, Help, and obviously from the file menu you are going to have all this option for new open save and things of that nature edit you are going to have some other options that are particularly obviously for InDesign basically first I have to start a new document file menu you can also go to new and click on here here you can see three options like document book library Click on document. New document dialog box will appear. There will be the default setup. Click OK. Now for this area, some of the options that are going to appear up here when you saw some of the tools here. You were going to get some different options available to you up here. Now what this area is. These are the tools that you have available within InDesign. Some of them are key selection tools. Some of the special keys like the direct selection tool, type tool, line tool, pen tools, pencil tools and many of the tools you are really going to be using a lot doing InDesign. So in this area we have some of the process like page layer, links, stroke, color, swatches, which are not too difficult to understand. First thing we can see is that we have something here. We say these are the essentials as that's basically your workspace. So basically, this is the Essentials workspace. All the windows are arranged. Mainly, this is the default state. If you go to Window, you have a little more options available to you. These are some of the Display, Properties and Tools. If you click Stroke, it would be this up. If you close that, you will be clicking this arrow. So one thing that you can do with an InDesign is that you can arrange or have the replacement of almost all these options here. Say you want to move our tools somewhere else. We can just grab there and place them there. These have been floating perhaps. We can also bring them maybe if you see that blue line there that means that you can basically place it there or maybe there or you may be here so you basically can move all these options wherever you really want to and if you want this to be at this side you can even take this out and may put it to be here. So you have the options to move things around and as you place them wherever you think that you want them to be. For more convenient workspace if you prefer, say you have everything out here and it looks like a mess right now and you really want to go back to everything in default state. So if we go back here which is essentials, you can either save this workspace if you like the way these things are arranged. You can set save new workspace 
and you can just give a name. See that now it says workspace up here that is your particular workspace. So if you go back to essentials you are going to see the same basically because when we are moving things around we are basically in the essentials workspace. Now if you want to get everything back to its default state you can go here and reset the essentials and you can see that everything goes back to normal and obviously if you want to go back to the previous workspace that you saved you can click here and you can go back to that mess that we created. So these are the basics of the workspace that you can use with an InDesign and how you can create some of your own always. Now if you play around with some of the tools and see what they do, I think that's the easiest way of learning and there is no way you are going to mess something up. I mean you can always close it and get back again. So that was the lesson on Adobe InDesign interfaces and basics. Thank you.